Stay on your feet. That's good. Stay up. Former Whitecaps coach Hubert Busby is now suspended as head coach of Jamaica's women's soccer team. Last week, former Whitecaps player Mallory Enoch claimed in an interview with The Guardian that Busby sexually coerced and assaulted her while recruiting her to the Caps in 2010 and 2011 when he led the women's team. Busby denies the allegations. Enoch says she reported him to the club in 2011 only to have it swept under the rug. There are a lot of concerning things that happened around the club that really have to be uh, looked into and we have really to find out what that was. Whitecaps CEO Axel Schuster wasn't around at the time of the allegations but says he's committed to making sure an independent investigation is fully transparent. I would not put my face here in front of the camera if I could not do it the way I, I'm convinced of it's the only right way. It's not the first time the Whitecaps have been accused of covering up allegations of assault. In December, former coach Bob Berardo was charged with nine sexual offenses spanning 20 years. Like Busby, he was quietly let go after accusations were made. The floodgates are opening. Um, athletes and um, victims are feeling more comfortable to come forward, whether that's through the media or through um, an independent complaint management system, which is desperately needed. Alison Forsyth is a former Olympian who took her coach to court claiming abuse. She now advocates for athlete safety. I have an inside view of just how bad it can be in sport in Canada. Um, and so I'm not surprised, unfortunately. And I truly believe that we need a massive, massive shift in how we run sports in our country. Um, organizations must be held accountable. Individuals must be held accountable. Major League Soccer says an independent council will investigate how the Whitecaps handled the allegations against Busby from 2011. He also faces a potential FIFA investigation, which the Jamaican team says is needed to keep their players safe. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.